So if you've recently upgraded to Windows 11, you may have found some of the changes that it brought to the table a bit off-putting. Historically speaking, transitioning to Microsoft's latest and greatest, whatever it may be, can be a frustrating experience, and in the case of Windows 11 specifically, well, let's just say that it's not without its quirks. I'm talking taskbar limitations, file explorer oversimplifications, or completely redesigned context menus that seem to lack a lot of options that you've grown accustomed to in previous versions of the OS. The good news is that Microsoft does not appear to be forcing Windows 11 on anyone, as was the case with Windows 10, at least not yet, so if you don't like this version, you can still just stick with whatever it is you're currently using. However, the 22H2 update has dropped, and even though it's not without its issues, it has brought back some UX features that were missing at launch, so if you feel like now's the time to give Windows 11 a try, there's a number of things you can do to make your acclimatization phase a more pleasant one. So, let's see what we can fix. To start off, here's something simple. When you boot up Windows 11, one of the first things you'll notice is that all the icons on the taskbar are now centered, and that includes the start button as well. So, then you click on that start button and realize, oh well, it's centered too. Well, maybe you don't want it that way. Maybe you just want your start menu and all these other icons where God intended them to be, and if that's so, all you do is go to Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, click on Taskbar Behaviors, and then for Taskbar Alignment, simply choose Left. And that's it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this new alignment is a bad thing. In fact, I actually prefer it this way. In Windows 10, I used a third-party app just so I could emulate this sort of behavior. But still, this is a perfect example of changes being off-putting, because for your entire life, you've been conditioned to search for these buttons and icons over here. You think about the start menu, and your hand just automatically goes towards the bottom left like it's got a mind of its own. But then you end up with Windows 11, and now all of a sudden, everything is in the center. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it just might not be in tune with your primal instinct. Luckily, as we were able to see, the solution is simple. Okay, so if you just installed Windows 11 and wanted to follow the previous instructions the exact way I laid them out, you probably already encountered a new issue. In my instructions, I opened up the settings app via a link next to the power button, but if you have a clean install of Windows 11, chances are, that settings icon ain't even there. By default, the Windows 11 start menu can't get much simpler. Now, what you do for the layout and pinned apps is likely subject to change, but what you do need from day one is more functionality. So, for example, a link to the settings app, or the file explorer. In order to add these links, you can open up the settings app from the search bar, go to personalization, start, folders, and then just start activating toggle switches for the particular folders that you want to have quick access to. So let's say I add my downloads, music, videos, and all of a sudden, the start menu feels much more useful. One of the new features that Windows 11 has introduced is this little widgets pane that pops out from the left-hand side. Now, you might find these widgets useful, but let's be honest, you probably don't. The thing is, whether you use them or not, by default you're going to see a widgets button down here. Now, if your taskbar icons are centered, the widgets button is actually not all that bad. Since it's pushed all the way to the left, it doesn't really get in the way of other apps, and it also serves as sort of a standalone lightweight weather widget that can give you useful information at a glance. However, if your taskbar icons and start button are aligned on the left, it can feel a bit intrusive. Or not, but still, maybe you just don't want it there. If that's the case, you can go back into Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, look under Taskbar Items, and then just turn it off from here. And same goes for Chat, Task View, or Search. If you do want these things on your taskbar, they'll most likely already be there. But if you don't, this is how you can get rid of them. Microsoft may have removed a number of well-known features from Windows 11, but as you could have guessed, ads are definitely not one of them. Even though ads in modern versions of Windows typically don't have too much in common with ads on websites and social media platforms, at least not visually, Microsoft is still very good at influencing users to behave in ways that benefit the company through things like pop-ups, tips, and banners that recommend their software and services. Now the good news is, if you're not okay with this kind of stuff, there's a number of things you can do to mitigate it. And you can start by going into Settings, Privacy and Security, General, and then turning off the toggle switches next to Let App Show Me Personalized Ads by using my advertising ID, and Show Me Suggested Content in the Settings app. 
Next, you want to hop over to System Notifications, then scroll all the way down to where it says Additional Settings. You want to expand those options and then uncheck Suggest Ways to Get the Most Out of Windows and Get Tips and Suggestions when Using Windows. The third thing you might want to do is go into Personalization Device Usage and then make sure that absolutely everything here is turned off. The whole point of this particular page is for you to tell Microsoft what you plan on using Windows for so they can then use that input in order to give you better personalized tips and recommendations, which is something that, for all intents and purposes, you don't want. So you want to make sure you don't give them anything to work with here. Now, if you think we're done with ads, you're going to want to sit down. Well, you're probably already sitting, but it doesn't matter. There's one more thing we need to take care of. File Explorer ads. And I got to tell you, since I luckily never experienced such an atrocity on my own computer, this was one of those things I really had to see to believe. Sure enough, after like two seconds of research, I found out that it actually is a thing, or at least it can be a thing, which is proven by the fact that people have reported seeing these ads on both Windows 11 and 10. But there is a way you can prevent it, and it's actually a very simple one. All you do is open up File Explorer, click on these three little dots, go to Options, then click on the View tab, scroll down until you see the Show Sync Provider Notifications options, and then just uncheck it. You're welcome. But now we step into a far more frustrating part of the Windows 11 experience where certain inconveniences can't be solved with just a few simple settings tweaks. Want the old context menu back? Maybe you'd like to have small icons on the taskbar, or maybe you'd like to put the taskbar on the top or one of the sides of your screen. Unfortunately, to do any of these things, you're going to have to resort to system registry edits or third-party solutions. Now, when it comes to the former, because of the tedium of how things are done, combined with the occasional undesired outcomes, I find that showing these registry modifications just has the potential of being too much of a liability. You know how this goes. If enough people watch the video, eventually somebody's going to screw something up. And then some random 12-year-old is going to be like, you broke my PC, I hate you, uh, Linus Tech Tips is so much better. Like, Jesus Christ, what are we on now? Like, computer number 17? I never said my tips were that great, okay? However, I will leave a few links for the instructions on those tweaks in the description, so if you want to try them out, you can do so at your own risk. On the other hand, you can also just skip the whole registry thing and consider the following solution. Look, I'm going to be honest. All this work and we're still left with a bunch of taskbar limitations, weird context menus, and a start menu that it's not bad. It's just too Windows 11-y. Well, there is another solution. A pretty fabulous one if you ask me. The only caveat is, it's going to cost you 5 bucks. But if you do decide to take this route, Start All Back will give you remedies for pretty much all known Windows 11 UX issues. Good old context menus? Check. Useful taskbar options? Check. A customizable start menu that pays attention to both design and function? Check. What about the File Explorer, you might ask? Well, there's your Windows 10 File Explorer right there. Oh look, there's even a Windows 7 one. And there's a ton of other things you can do with this tool as well, but this video is already getting kind of lengthy for my standards, so I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to be on the lookout for other useful tweaks and tools that can improve our Windows 11 user experience, and if you have any tips of your own, anything I haven't mentioned in the video, kindly share them in the comments below. Anyway, that's it for this time. Thumbs up if you found the video useful, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay strong.